There are things that need to be formally taught in school, and there are things that fall into the realm of basic fucking common sense. The scenario posed above by Oklahoma-based nurse practitioner Charity Rosenthal, wondering why she can't prescribe Ambien, a federally controlled substance on DA Schedule 4, to good old mom falls squarely into the latter category. One would assume that the elemental concept of not prescribing controlled substances to yourself, family members, or friends goes without saying, but obviously, you can't assume anything about middlevels these days, no matter how basic. While state laws do vary regarding the exact nuances of self-prescribing, we're not sure any physicians have graduated from medical school without having the idea drilled into them that self-prescribing medications, especially controlled substances, is a very bad idea for multiple reasons. Violation of ethics, inability to maintain professional judgment slash compromised medical decision-making, risk for diversion, etc., and while self-prescribing may not technically be illegal in all circumstances, state medical boards tend to take a very dim view of it, especially if they find out. Had Miss Rosenthal bothered to first perform a cursory Google search instead of being told off by a pharmacy tech and subsequently outsourcing her legal query to other clueless nurse practitioners on Facebook, she would have found Section 475-30-1-3 in the Oklahoma Administrative Code. She might also have come across an excellent article by the Oklahoma Medical Board, which also contains a very similar directive. Additionally, this post also serves as a very eye-opening glimpse into the quality, or lack thereof, of clinical education and appropriate role modeling in nurse practitioner school. N.P. Rosenthal herself admits that I have never read this, and that during my clinical rotation, the N.P. I did most of my clinicals with prescribed testosterone and other controlled meds to her first-degree relative. It should be noted that testosterone is also a federally controlled substance on DA Schedule 3, and in any case, it sounds like N.P. Rosenthal's preceptor needs to be immediately investigated for a likely violation of multiple federal drug laws. If this is the kind of piss-poor pharmacy, ethics, and professionalism education that nurse practitioners are receiving in school, how can anyone trust them to prescribe safely and appropriately when it comes to real, live patients?